Hi, I'm Katie Hopperish. Um, I live in Kindersley, Saskatchewan, and my um, children attend the Westbury Elementary School. Well, um, last year we want to be heavily involved in our kids' education and be a partner with the teachers, so I saw it as a good opportunity to um, meet the teacher and form that relationship with the teacher um, with a little more time rather than the quick emails or messages in our book back and forth. So. The home visit was a good opportunity to form that relationship. Well, I think it's a good way to help us get involved more with our child, child's teacher in the school here, and a way to meet them on more on a personal level rather than uh, just an interview, uh, you know, a couple times a year. So I think it's pretty useful to our, our child as well for um, them to see their teacher at home and realize that they're not just that person in front of 20 kids all the time. They're also a, a person like, um, you know, kids always put a teacher on a pedestal all the time at that age for sure. You don't really think of them as a person like your aunt or your uncle or your, your parents friend, right? So I think that makes it a little more personal to them as well. Yeah, I thought it, it was a great opportunity to meet her teacher. So get to know her and sort of a good um, transition period into like going to school for the first time she was in kindergarten. Uh, I'm Mitch Hope. I am a father of two girls, Jesse Rose, which is in grade four, and Alexis in grade, sorry, <laughs> Jesse's in grade three and Alexis is in grade one, and uh, I'm in Kindersley. It actually started out with Mrs. McClay in pre-K. Uh, she did a lot of home visits with the pre-K system, and I thought it was really good at that level. And then uh, our environment at home is different than a lot. I'm a single dad with both my daughters. So I feel, it, especially with Alexis, it was really uh, unique for the teachers to come and see her there. She's quite a bit shyer and more reserved than a lot of students. And in the classroom, she is very quiet. At home, she is not. So I felt that the uh, at-home visits really allowed the teachers to see her for who she is and a more comfortable environment for her, which just let her show her stars and the teachers could see that. <laughs> yeah, no, my name is Joel Desjarle. Uh Some say Desjarle, we go by Desjarle here. And uh, my son is Isaiah Desjarle, he's six and a half. He attends uh, Miss Murphy's class, grade two in Westbury School. And uh, yeah, we're always willing to uh, do what we can to help better him at, at his in-home situation and at school. So. It goes hand in hand with what he experiences at school is going to affect him at home and vice versa. So the more information we have, the more communication we have with the school, the better it is for him to get whatever attention he needs so he can excel. I'm Krista Finley and I was in this program. My daughter who's in grade two, her teacher came to our house as part of the program. Well, I was interested, like I do want my kids to see us interact with people in the community. So I thought that was a neat part of the project to like I remember when I was a kid thinking teachers were so scary and that they weren't like didn't associate with people so I kind of didn't want to break that stigma a little bit. Uh, my name is Rhonda Heather. I have three kids in the school, um, Lachlan, Colton and Anna. Lachlan was in grade seven last year and he was the the one who participated in the home visits. So he's, in grade eight. he's in grade eight this year, yeah. We like the idea of engaging families in a uh, more neutral setting sort of away from the academic part of the school and the structure of the school and um, more in a, a group family environment so that you can get to know the, the whole family structure and rather than just the student that's in the classroom. Uh, I am Allison Thomas and my older son, Caden, who's now in grade five, was in grade four last year, was uh, invited to take part, uh, his class was invited to take part in this pilot project of home visits and uh, yeah, we live on a small farm outside of Bigger, about 10 minutes outside of Bigger, and uh, his younger brother also goes to school here, and uh, I'm a member of the SCC for the school, and was really excited to hear about this project and have a chance to be a part of it. Um, to me, I, I loved school as a kid, so I loved all my teachers as a kid, <laughs> and so the idea of getting to spend some time with my kids' teachers was... Um, important to me. I, I was really looking forward to it. My kids have had great teachers here and they have really liked them. So to me, the opportunity to have them have more time 
uh, my kids to have more time with their teachers and the teachers to have more time with my kids one-on-one -on -one instead of 20 or 30 kids all at once. Um, I, I didn't understand why anybody wouldn't <laughs> would, would skip that opportunity. To, it just, just sounded great to me. 